These men are members of Beijing's Special Combat Brigade. As part of China's special forces, they will undergo months of rigorous training. They are elite soldiers trained to work on land, sea, and air. But before they can join the ranks of this elite unit, civilians must be shaped into soldiers, and soldiers turned into elite troops. We gain exclusive access behind the scenes and reveal what it takes to become the best of the best in the People's Liberation Army. This is where a special forces soldier in China begins his career. Hundreds of men have been selected to join the Beijing Special Combat Brigade, and the whole village has turned out to support them. These young men are about to begin a new chapter of their lives. Eighteen-year-old recruit Gong is the youngest of his family. Today, he says goodbye to them before heading to barracks. We wasn't well. He's heading into the unknown. For the next three months, this military base close to Beijing will be home for the new recruits. The Chinese military is divided into seven geographical zones. Protecting the capital, Beijing, is one of the missions for these elite soldiers. Only the best recruits will be selected to join Beijing's Special Combat Brigade. The unit was officially formed in the early 90s to execute the most important and dangerous missions. Their badge represents what the special task force is responsible for, codenamed Whistling Arrow. Throughout the course of history, ancient Chinese warriors used arrows that made a whistling sound to send secret messages in battle. This Whistling Arrow has become a symbol for reconnaissance troops. Special Combat Brigade soldiers also go behind enemy lines to gather intelligence, take out high-value targets, and perform counterterrorism and hostage rescue missions. But before these men can earn the right to be part of this elite team, they must first endure three months of basic training. 5 a.m. The temperature is below zero when recruits begin their daily exercises. To go from civilian to soldier first requires discipline. This basic training is designed to find out which of them are not suited to life in the military. If they cannot adapt, it'll be the end of their special forces career. But failure is not an option for the farm boy, Recruit Gong. To become a Chinese Special Forces soldier, Gong and his fellow recruits must start with the basics. In the first phase, they need to learn how to follow orders. This is just the beginning of being part of this elite unit.
刚开始的时候有点感觉有点吃力，然后慢慢的就是习惯了，就是戒律特别多嘛，干什么事都要经过批准，在家没有想象的那么严，来了以后他知道部队确实非常的严。This is the advanced training base of Beijing's Special Combat Brigade. To be here, soldiers need to have at least three years of military experience. They will face a set of physical tests beyond that of normal infantry training. Today, they have to complete a 21-kilometer off-road obstacle course. The 21-kilometer route is set entirely across mountainous terrain. After the march, they must locate enemy targets. They must finish the course in 90 minutes and must pass together as a group. So teamwork is crucial. If anyone in the team doesn't make the grade, the whole team fails. Not to compete with individual strength, but to require a small group, a team, to get faster. After I jump over, I jump over, and then 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 I Next up is the log run. Four soldiers will have to run 500 meters while carrying these 180 kilogram logs. The trainees running beside them are not spared. These ammunition boxes weigh tens of kilograms each. These heavy weights replicate the heavy equipment these men could be using on a real mission. Pushing this truck up a hill is the next challenge. All units successfully arrive at the location of their next mission. Next, they need to find enemy targets, relying only on the most basic of equipment to work out the coordinates. This exercise requires the special forces trainees to complete the mission without a GPS. Nearly at their physical limit, they still have a 10-kilometer run to the finish line. The instructors push them to the end. At the finish line, a trainee gets a cramp in his leg. <laughs> Finally, all the teams cross the line within time. The Beijing Special Combat Brigade also specializes in urban warfare. And this team packs a punch.
One of the roles of the Beijing Special Combat Brigade is to tackle terrorism. This is the first time that the Chinese military has allowed their training to be shown. They will carry out an anti-terrorism exercise, simulating an assault on a terrorist hideout and rescuing a hostage. At the same time, they must guard against the threat of unknown explosives. After deploying by helicopter to the nearby target, the team quickly surround the building. Two men scale the walls with special climbing equipment. The men use miniature surveillance cameras to determine the enemy's position. When they reach their position, everything is ready. Teams simultaneously enter the building through the bottom and upper floors. The search squad charges ahead, searching the rooms one by one. Not only do they have to look out for unexpected threats, they also have to look for hidden explosives. And rescue the hostage. The hostage is rescued. The mission is a success. Back at boot camp. After six weeks of basic training, Recruit Gong is gradually becoming a soldier. I just want to the Today, the recruits will fire a rifle for the first time. They will be executing three rounds of shooting drills. The instructors are next to the recruits to guide them. Gong is ready. He has to hit the center of a target 100 meters away. Today was just the start. If they make the grade, this is what will be required in the future. China's special forces use the QBZ-95. It can shoot both single or automatic rounds. Made in China, the effective range of fire reaches a few hundred meters and it is the standard issue rifle for the People's Liberation Army. China's special forces require highly skilled shooters. Only by practicing constantly can they improve their shooting abilities. Marksmanship is a crucial skill for China's special forces. 
Major Tung is a qualified sniper. A wealth of experience has made him an instructor for the shooting course. He will teach the soldiers a range of shooting skills, from rifles to pistols. This is the QSZ-92. With a 5.8 millimeter caliber bullet, it's the pistol of choice for the People's Liberation Army. The pistol is used in close quarter fighting. Loading is a methodical drill that should only take a split second. The secret to accuracy with the handgun lies in the grip. This grip can ensure their efficiency and accuracy. The hand position must not change. But it's not easy to hold the gun steady. So the men have come up with an ingenious way to train their arm muscles. In Inner Mongolia, a firing exercise is in the works. This is to test the marksmanship of the Special Forces trainees shooting targets while on the move. Soldiers aboard a moving sport utility vehicle open fire on roadside targets. This SUV is nicknamed Warrior. Tangue Next, it's down to the driver to get off the battlefield as quickly as possible. Many obstacles have been set up to test the driver's skills. Up ahead, the driver needs to be very careful. A good special forces driver needs to navigate their way out of danger as soon as possible, no matter the circumstances. Now, the warrior heads towards the finish line at full speed. The ground tests are over for now. Next, they take to the skies. But a thousand meters in the air, things do not always go as planned.
，管事五稍向右修。Beijing's special combat brigade soldiers are trained to enter the battlefield by land, sea, or air. But before they can parachute jump safely, they need one month of ground training. Here, at a Beijing military base, special forces troops are learning the basics. First, they are taught how to exit the plane correctly. Then, they learn how to control their parachutes. For the special forces, the airborne batch means a lot. Jump wings are at stake, and these are a prerequisite in order to take part in any airborne operation. To earn it, the men have to complete static line parachute jumps from thousands of meters in the air. Before sunrise, trainees are already making their way to the jump site. Close by, instructors are measuring wind speed and direction. They must know the weather conditions prior to the jump. If they get it wrong, the men could land in the wrong location, a potentially life-threatening situation. The trainees are jumping from the back of an M-171 helicopter without much gear. But in a real mission, their weapons and equipment could weigh up to 40 kilograms. No matter how many times the trainees have been through this, the instructors don't let their guard down. The slightest mistake can be fatal. <laughs> As the chopper flies over the outskirts of Beijing, the trainees run through the jump sequence in their minds. This is the moment where everything they learned in training will be tested. The men clip onto a static line. It will pull their parachutes open a few seconds after the jump. This method ensures that the parachute will deploy even if the trainee fails to do it properly. They approach the landing zone. Time to check their gear. It's jump time. The chutes open, and they plunge towards the ground at over five meters a second. They are only airborne for three minutes. They all make the jump, but some better than others. Hey, 
，如果心跳抢油的几率应该是比较大的，如果脑跳抢油的话，就是受伤的几率要小小得多。杀了，杀晚了知道吗？Back at the basic training camp, the men get a respite from training. Since they arrived, they haven't been allowed to communicate with their families. They can only rely on letters to express their longing for home. The recruits are turning into professional soldiers. Now, Gong is able to follow orders and skillfully complete most of the exercises. But not all of them can handle the physical demands of training. It's coming close to graduation, and those that make the grade can go on to specialize. Like this man, a member of the Beijing Special Combat Sniper Team. A small elite group of men, they are trained to deliver a deadly shot in any type of environment. Snipers work in pairs, moving toward a target with stealth, ready for the kill. Chinese Special Forces sniper rifles pack a big punch. The QBU-10, it's capable of piercing steel armor, and that's why some call it the helicopter killer. In combat, the QBU-10 will allow the sniper to deliver a fatal shot. It has a night vision scope that uses thermal infrared technology. Even in the dark, the sniper can see the enemy from a long distance away. Uh, but being in this dark environment is a real test for the snipers. The sniper is completely hidden, ready to fire his powerful weapon. The shooter takes aim under pressure and hits the mark. Next, they'll face another challenge, and this time, underwater. These men are going through a unique amphibious warfare course that pushes them to their physical limits. The training happens on China's southern coastline, 
当兵嘛，就意味着吃苦，是吧？当特种兵，那就更意味着吃苦和奉献。Heat, high humidity, and intense training contribute to their exhaustion. Medics are at hand at all times. To help soldiers cope with heat stroke, these medics use an ancient massage technique known as gua sa, also used in martial arts. It improves blood circulation and cools the body, but the lengthy training is making these soldiers fatigued. 老色耳鸣，然后听力严重下降，主要原因嘛，这是主要是这十年来一直在打枪。在这种情况呢，就是我们可以大家可以用点药，看看能不能缓解，另外能不能减轻耳鸣。但是呢，更重要的是你以后在用用枪的时候还要注意防护。The amphibious team are practicing covert underwater infiltration. Today's goal is to find the right direction and location underwater. We this time we will go to the flight path. The flight path will be the same as the flight path. The flight path will be the same as the flight path. The flight path will be the same as the flight path. The flight path will be the same as the flight path. 为了避免被击中，他们使用飞机的飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个飞镖，一个
They are losing vital body salts and their core temperatures are rising. At the checkpoint, the men are given water and salt tablets. After a short break, it's back on with the march. But halfway through, a soldier falls out. He has injured his back and the pain is unbearable. His team helps by carrying his load, but unfortunately, he has no other choice but to quit the training. Back in Hainan, the amphibious unit of the Beijing Special Combat Brigade is about to train for a unique battle underwater. They are equipped with underwater assault rifles. On dry land, the underwater assault rifle has limited use. But below, this gas-operated weapon sends a bolt through the water, much like a nail gun. Next, the sniper teams head out on another mission. They practice boarding a ship at sea. China's special forces routinely patrol the Gulf of Aden, where piracy is rife. To complete a mission like this, the sniper must be able to master combat skills on the water. Enter the QBU-10 high-velocity sniper rifle. But shooting a moving target from a moving ship is no easy task. The wind also affects the bullet's trajectory, and that's where this weapon excels. Its heavy caliber and power make it less susceptible to wind. This time, the target is set at a distance of 200 meters. They must aim for the bullseye for a confirmed kill. The men of the Beijing Special Combat Brigade are about to take a big leap into the unknown. This training exercise is called a blind jump. These are the men of the Beijing Special Combat Brigade. They are all parachute trained, but this next jump will be a real test. 
The men don't know where they will be landing, since no information is given to them about the landing location. This is known as a blind jump training exercise. The heaviest soldier, Gong Xiao Fei, carries a huge responsibility. He will jump first, and being the heaviest, will hit the ground before the others. The team will have to land around him. The men jump from a helicopter at 2,000 meters, twice as high as they've ever jumped before. There is no weather information and no guides on the ground. Only the GPS on their wrists will help them land accurately. Time to jump. With his parachute open, Gong Xiao Fei now has to find the drop zone with the GPS on his wrist. He navigates, adjusting his parachute, and searches for the landing point. He's got three minutes before he hits the ground. If he gets it wrong, the whole team could land into trees or water, a potentially dangerous situation. As soon as Gong Xiao Fei finds the drop zone, he throws a smoke grenade to mark out the landing site for the rest of the squad. and he successfully finds the mark. The second jumper hits the mark, but not everyone was able to follow Gong's lead. Some of them have landed far from the mark. All the men made it without injury. Back at the camp, the recruits are in their 13th week of basic training. They are just one fitness challenge away from joining the ranks of this elite unit. Tomorrow is graduation day. For recruit Gong, the farmer's son, it's a dream come true. More than 500 recruits have successfully completed the training. Uh, 
，他一般都能达到及格以上。They have earned the right to wear the coveted badge of the Beijing Special Combat Brigade, the Whistling Arrow. From here, they will go on to more advanced training. But first, their graduation ceremony. Over 500 men gather to be awarded their badges. Gang Shouting, the farm boy, is officially a military man. 通过这三个月的训练，我的身体更强壮了，思想更成熟了。要往上走，这么走。After three months of intense training, these boys are now soldiers. But next, they have even bigger challenges. They are to follow in the footsteps of the veterans and become contributing members of China's elite force. Thank you.